the, the paper published uh, this night in, in Nature actually described for the very first time that we could take any cells from primate body and to make it become embryonic cells. Uh, naturally, you know, uh, any adult body uh, doesn't have any embryonic cells. Uh, however, we using the somatic cell nuclear transfer technology, we've been able to reprogram, convert it to become again early embryonic cells. So the significance of this uh, uh, study is that we can now to derive uh, embryonic cells from uh, patients. Um, that means these embryonic cells are capable to become again any cell of the body, for example, uh, become neurons or heart cells. And uh, so we could use these cells uh, to treat this patient. Uh, the embryonic stem cells, of course, have been derived uh, about a decade ago. However, those cells were derived from unrelated, of course, embryos. In this case, we showed that we could derive cells which are specific to every patient. That means we completely resolve the issue of human rejection. There are a number of diseases we think it will help. For example, uh, um, uh, diabetes or heart disease. Uh, um. However, in future, we hope that these cells will actually be helpful in preventing aging. As you know, the aging is, is a process that the cells become aged, and with age division cells aging. And uh, so now we have these early embryonic cells which can rejuvenate, repopulate every organ, every tissue in our body. And we hope that in the future, maybe 10, 20 years from now, uh, we could extend our life using these cells. And then using these cells and creating early embryo and monkey, we would create a copy of this genetic disease that humans have. Uh, this would allow us to study this disease, how it progresses, and, and of course, we would like to, to, to develop strategies to, to treat this disease, genetic disease. So that's the main, uh, main uh, purpose why we're actually working on the reproductive cloning in the monkey. Um, so, so we hope that that monkey that gave its its own uh, somatic cells or skin cells, uh, it's it's healthy. You probably will see its picture. So it will be become one of the famous animals uh, in history as Dolly. What's the monkey's name? Simos. S e m o s. I think it came from uh, a movie Planet of Apes. <laughs>